In this video we will talk about magnetic induction. We will discuss what will happen with the metal when we place it close to a magnet. We will discuss the magnetic domains, magnetic materials and how this works. First we will discuss what will happen when we put the magnetic material close to a magnet. And we see that the metal is attracted to the metal. Now we have on this side a north pole, south pole, so these sides attract, so this must be a south pole. The metal here on this side is the south pole, here the north pole, because we have attraction on this side, let's see when I'm going to reverse the metal. And they again attract. So what is happening here? So suddenly the north has changed into south and south into north? Actually, yes. So at this moment, now we have a new south pole on this side and a north pole on this side. Why is this happening? Okay, to go a little bit deeper into this, we have to talk about magnetic domains. Magnetic materials are materials that can be magnetized. The most common ones that we know are iron, nickel, cobalt and there are some rare earth metals. Each of these magnetized materials they have a magnetic domain and that is the smallest domain that actually can be magnetized in a magnetic material. When we look uh, just a piece of metal that is not magnetized or unmagnetized, the domains are positioned in a random direction. When this metal is magnetized, as we saw before, the domains are going in one direction. So they all align up in one direction, in a uniform direction. Now let's see how that works with the magnetic induction that we saw before when a metal is coming close to a magnet. Okay, we're going to look again at our situation with the magnet and the metal. The magnet is actually magnetized material, so it has its magnetic domains already uh, uh, arranged and they look like in this direction. This one is randomly. Now we're going to place them together. Now the domains in the metal are aligned. And of course we get again here a south pole and a north pole. We're going to look um, when we are going to put multiple pieces of magnetic material to a magnet. We use here a medium magnet, a very strong magnet. At first we check what is the pole. I cannot get closer. So this is the magnetic north pole of this magnet. I'm going to place one bolt. So first one is of course magnetically induced and then we get another one so this one is also induced and the third one that one is also induced so it's interesting to see what are the magnetic poles on the balls so what is the pole here magnetic pole on the bolt here 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 and here you can think about that 